today's video is going to be what's in my library bag. Today, there's a lot in my library bag. When You Are Engulfed in Flames by David Sedaris. This is my third David Sedaris book. The first one I read was We Talk Pretty One Day, and the second one that I read was called Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls. I have to say that I'm very drawn to his writing style, even though parts of it are kind of uncomfortable to read. He just has a very honest feel to his writing. Now we're getting into The Circle by Dave Eggers. I love this book. This book is probably in my top 10 books of all time. It is dystopian, it is intriguing, it is full of interesting characters. The main character, May, is real and flawed. You see her as an actual person with both good qualities and negative qualities. I was impressed that a male writer could write a female character of this quality. One thing about the book which intimidated me at first is the fact that there are no chapters in the circle. It is one continuous story. As somebody who has a hard time putting a book down, the fact that there was no stopping point for me made it very hard. I definitely read more than I had time to in in throughout my day you know I would I would set aside a chunk of time to read and I would blow through it I stayed up way too late uh, finishing this book this is one of those books that will test my ability to watch a movie adaptation because I have such high hopes that they stick true to the not just the plot, but the characters in the book. I think it will be hard to find find actors to fit the character. We'll see. Uh, the next book in my library bag is Squirrel Seeks Chipmunk by David Sedaris. I have not started reading this one yet. I want to finish the other Sedaris book first before I move on. The next book is The Digital Mom Handbook. I'm not a mom. I thought it would be good to read a book on digital media since I'm trying to get back into YouTube and I'd really like to stick to making content on a regular basis. I felt this book might inspire me. The next book is Do What You Are. This is by Paul Teeger, Barbara Barron, and Kelly Teeger. I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly. This book, there have been different versions throughout the years. I think this is the latest one. This book was put out in 2016. I am an MBTI certified administrator. I agree with a lot of what's in this book because it is based on MBTI, the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. I've read some of this book. I haven't finished it yet. I like to pick the personality types that I work with on a regular basis and I also like to read up on my own to see how I'm doing. As soon as I'm finished reading it, I will rate it on Goodreads. This book is Make Mead Like a Viking, Traditional Techniques for Brewing Natural, Wild, Fermented, Honey-Based Wines and Beers. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a beekeeper. I have a top bar hive. I'd like to, to read up on this and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to make some of the recipes. Yeah, I think this is a book that I'll eventually own. The next book is QuickBooks 2017 for Dummies. I have to say that I do like to read the Dummies books. I feel that they are a good intro to a subject. I like how they explain things at a basic level. I would like to learn how to use QuickBooks, so hopefully this book will be what I need, and as I learn more, I will get more advanced books. Alright, this one is Soil Mates, Companion Planting for Your Vegetable Garden. 
My mom has been using the concept of companion planting for a few years now in her garden, and she's seen it grow significantly and her plants thrive. So I decided to pick this book up to see if maybe there were some companion plants that she and I weren't aware of that I could point out to her, and I do believe this is another book that I'll be purchasing. That's one thing that I love about going to the library, is if I'm on the fence about a book or I hear good things from people about a book, but I'm not sure that it's going to be what I enjoy. I don't want to spend money on something until I know that it's going to be something I like. So I'm not a high risk book buyer. I like to buy books that I've read or by authors that I know I enjoy. Next book, and this is a book that I saw going around booktube, you know, maybe a year or two ago, but my library just got it. Yeah, 2015, I just saw. It's Public Library and Other Stories by Allie Smith. This is exactly what it sounds like, people telling stories about their libraries. And as, as you've just heard, I love going to the library. I remember when I was able to get my own library card. I had learned how to sign my name in cursive and not having to share one with my mom was the best feeling in the world. So when I was younger, we went to a library. I'm not going to give out the location because this is the internet. We would go to a library when I was younger and we moved away. So I had to join a separate library system. But when I got older, I was able to move back to that county and I was able to become a member of that library again. It's so nostalgic to walk in a library that I grew up in. My next book, I think these next two are fiction books. Let's see, we've got Invincible Summer by Alice Adams. No clue what it's about. It was on display in the library under new fiction. So let's see how new that it is. 2016, that's relatively new. The next one is The Idiot by Elif Batumin. So let's see how new this one is. This one is a 2017 book, so this is very new. And again, it was on the uh, new fiction shelf uh, when you first walk into my library. So I don't know anything about it. I don't like to know too much about a book before I dive in. I like to be surprised. I like to judge a book on its own. <laughs> one thing that bothered me in school when we would have to read the intros to a book or the preface for a book, it always upset me because I felt that they spoiled the book. They spoiled key points. They elaborated too much. I don't even like to read the inside covers or the backs of paperbacks sometimes because I like to just dive in and let the book speak for itself, let the author show me things as they in the timeline that they wanted me to know it in a similar fashion that's how I also feel about movies I don't like movies to be spoiled trailers show way too much I like to go into a movie again being surprised and letting the story unfold the way that the director wanted it to we have children of the New World by Alexander Weinstein. These are a collection of short stories that are dystopian, which is my favorite genre. You're going to hear that a lot on this channel. I've only read the first few stories, as you can see, and I can already tell that I'm going to love all of them. I've heard some people say the stories remind them of Black Mirror. If you haven't heard of Black Mirror, it's on Netflix. It's amazing. It's a collection of episodes, each its own contained story in a dystopian future world. And what's terrifying about the series is that it's one step away from technology that we currently have or are, you know, we're on the cusp of having that technology. So it's very believable in its uh, plot lines. If you like that type of thing, I definitely encourage you to read Children of the New World. I love the cover. It has texture to it, and I already ordered my own copy. The final book is Women Code 
Now, this book was recommended to me by another booktuber. I have only read the first chapter, I believe. Maybe not even the first full chapter. No, I haven't even gotten through chapter one. I did go to the author uh, Alyssa Vitti's website, uh, which is Flow Living, and there was a helpful quiz. So far, I haven't gotten into practical applications. Hopefully there are more. I bought this because, you know, as a woman, I wanted to start taking more control of my health, and she is a big advocate of nutrition, you know, balancing your cycle in a more natural way. I hope to have a review of this book up, and if I like it enough, I will buy my own copy. So that concludes what's in my library bag. Thank you for watching this video.